Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg says personnel at Belarus's diplomatic, diplomatic mission to NATO will have their access restricted at the alliance's headquarters following the forced landing of a passenger plane by Minsk. Belarus is not a member of NATO but has had ties with the military alliance since 1992 following the fall of the Soviet Union and has maintained a diplomatic mission to NATO since 1998. Belarusian personnel can attend seminars and meetings at NATO and in NATO countries as part of a cooperation partnership that tackles issues such as arms control and military education. We have uh, uh, decided uh, to restrict the access of Belarusian personnel to the NATO headquarters uh, uh, based on uh, our assessment of uh, um, security measures at the uh, headquarters. We continue also what we uh, call our dual track approach to Russia, meaning that we are uh, providing credible deterrence and defense, but at the same time, uh, we uh, work for meaningful dialogue with Russia. Uh, we, we believe in dialogue, partly to strive for a better relationship uh, with uh, our neighbor Russia, but also because uh, even if we are not able to, or even, even without any improved relationship with, with Russia, it is important to manage a difficult relationship with Russia with uh, transparency uh, on military activities, uh, risk reduction, and also so for instance, there is issues like uh, arms control. So conference. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.